YouTube, YouTube, what's up? It's Jock, Jock Calisthenics, all right? I'm here back again on this lovely Thursday. How you guys doing? How you guys doing, all right? You guys may know me as J Mitch or Jock Fitness, all right? But I changed my name, as I said in the last video, so we're working our way back up to it, all right? And today, this video is gonna be on how to get your reps up in calisthenics, all right? So, if you're looking to get your reps up, all right, whether it's pull-ups, push-ups, and dips, all right, just train holds or right? train holds all right for push-ups train plank holds all right uh do push-ups combined with plank holds all right those will get your those will build your endurance a lot all right focus on form a lot you know make sure it's full range of motion even if it's not always train uh plank holds always train holds all right with pull-ups train holds too what i mean by training holds on the pull-up bar is hanging at the bottom and then doing your put uh for a certain amount of time and then engage and do your uh pull up and then do your whatever set amount of sets you want to do with body weight you know uh do your do them and then hang again at the bar all right this will train your uh these and all right before i get to that all right dips do the same exact thing all right if i want to hit uh Say I want to hit 20 dips, all right? Before I go on the dip bar, if I'm training for endurance, I want to get my rep number up. I'm going to go on the dip bar, and I'm going to hold for 20 seconds like this, all right? I'm going to hold, just hold myself straight up, all right? And then I'm going to count to 20 seconds, and then I'm going to hit 20 dips. And then I'm going to, after 20 dips, I'm not going to get straight up, straight up off the bar. I'm going to wait again, and I'm going to hold right there for 20 seconds, all right? Time and patience, all right? But what, what it's doing right here, I'm not disengaging my muscles really. So it's still training those muscles a lot. And it's tra training them to be there for a longer time. Uh, a lot of my, like the endurance that help you, you know, for, endur uh, for endurance and higher reps, you're going to be training these when you're in the holding position, all right? So this is why you guys want to practice holds a lot, all right? Holds is endurance, all right? Because think about it. If you're holding something, you're holding it for a set amount of time and this is endurance all right strength is the action of lifting okay endurance is the amount of time you're going for all right you know if that makes any sense to you guys but uh yeah those what that's what i've just what i'd recommend all right just doing holds and practicing holds it doesn't have to be for all of your time uh in one workout or towards one work towards one like movement it doesn't have to be all uh, like all of it. Like I don't train holds until I hit a hundred reps of a, a certain movement. You know, I only train holds at the end of my workout. Right? Every time I work out, I always train holds at the end. But it has helped me increase my endurance a lot. I've went up a uh, good amount of reps in the past month just off of doing this holds every every time I work out. All right. So yeah, train holds and always work on your. Full range of motion are right? if you're in calisthenics you know stress your range stress your range of motion what i mean by stress is always you know always uh look towards getting better with your form all right practice full range of motion pull-ups push-ups and dips all right um always look into scapula engagement protect protraction retraction all right when you're doing your dips, all right, your scapula engage, uh, retract that, you know. When you're doing your pull-ups, engage your scapula, but disengage when you're at the hanging point, all right. You know, when push-ups as well, you know, your scapula uh, when you're up, all right. These are all ways that you could, uh, these are just ways that you could better your strength and work out. And in, in turn, you know, you add these to your movements, uh, you'll get better endurance, you know because i remember i definitely used to be able to do a lot of push-ups since way back when you know but but i wasn't doing the put uh the movement like maybe the best it could have been well i could have probably done a lot of pull-ups but i wasn't doing the, doing it the best it, the best way it could have done you know once you you're doing you might be doing a movement a certain way and then now you learn to do it a better way which is more beneficial for you like for example pull-ups engaging your scapula now your reps have decreased like by 10 you know so yeah always look into uh scapula look up scapula stuff surrounding the scapula retraction protraction engagement 
disengagement, all of that, all right? And a tip I have on pull-ups, um, for pull-ups, when you're at the bottom of the bar, disengage your scapula, but right before you're about to uh, pull up, engage your scapula, all right? And keep engaged all the way through until you're at the end of, uh, hang at the bar again to get to your next pull-up. That's when you disengage, all right? So it should be like this. Right here, this is full disengagement, like you're hanging, and then you, this, and then you engage. You engage right here, and now you pull. All right. Uh, dips, you know, dips. Retract your scapula right here. All right. See, my, oh, it's like um, it's detached. All right. Push ups, you know. I don't, I think it's called protraction, but it's like your uh, like this, you know. Helps with the planche. All right. But yeah, man, that's really it. Um, that's all I have to say. It's just about strictly endurance. I think calisthenics is strictly endurance, bro. Strictly endurance, bro. Yeah, strictly endurance, man. Now I think about it, bro. But uh, I just wanted to make the vid. I know no one asked for the vid. I think this was like a it's a good topic because like in calisthenics what you really aim for most of the time is like endurance for real for real you want to aim to do like a move a certain amount of times you know do it a lot of times and in a perfect way all right so hopefully you guys try these ways you know to uh help you get your reps up you know i did recommend these to some people uh not pretty recently you know so i'll let you guys know if they if they work well they should work obviously because they work on me so yeah uh that's it though you guys have a great day all right if you're there thanks for watching bro and peace i'm gonna see you my calisthenics bros all right you guys so right here right here i'm doing scapula pull-ups all right scapula pulls are essential for engaging your back and your scapula all right this will uh, boost your progression greatly all right so this is what a scapula pull-up looks like i'm going to show you next how to do scapula actual pull-ups all right engaging your scapula so right here all right see how i'm disengaging i'm disengaging and it's like i'm a dead hang i'm dead hanging and then my scapula is engaged automatically on my way up all right this right here is the right way of doing pull-ups now this this coming up right here this all right this is also the right way i'm about to get to the part where it show i show you the wrong way of doing it all right these are good right here this is the type of pull up you want all right you want to practice scapula pull-ups and then disengage at the bottom and engage at the top engage when coming up this is a bad pull up right here it's not a bad pull up but this my scapula is engaged all the time so i'm dead hanging with my scapula right there you don't want to do that all right don't do that always en engage and dis engage your scapula all the way through and then disengage all right uh at the hang but right here this is you know this is a representation of an endurance set i hung and then i hit five and then i hang again all right so this works on wrist and a lot of my endurance muscles